and a good Tuesday morning. It's the third day of May. And uh, yes, it is a beautiful morning out. The marine layers burned out a little bit. It's going to be in the generally in in the in the upper 60s to low 70s, and um, it's going to be in the 50s at night. It's going to be a pretty mild week all the way, with temperatures mainly in the mid to up. And tomorrow and Thursday, it's going to be a little bit warmer with temperatures in the upper 70s. Same thing for the weekend, but all in all, it's going to be mild, which is which is why May is the mildest month of the year. And we don't really get too many weather events in May, except for May Gray. Uh, meanwhile, uh, a happy birthday, heavenly birthday to the godfather of soul, James Brown. Also a happy birthday to former Dodgers second baseman, Davey Lopes, and a former Dodgers pitcher, Darren Dryford, and to uh, former Cubs pitcher, Ryan Dempster. Also a happy birthday to pitcher Homer Bailey as well. Um, but all in all, um, well, Phoenix and Miami took care of business last night and their game one wins at home. So they go up one game to none. And in these conference semifinals, um, it's been so far so good. Boy, if Clay Thompson didn't make that three pointer, Memphis could have dodged a bullet. And um, the team that wins game one of an NBA playoff series usually wins about 75 to 85 percent of the time. So that means the Bucks and Warriors and Suns and Heat are in a good position to advance to the conference finals the way it's looking. Meanwhile, tonight we got game two of the Celtics uh, Bucks series. Hope I would love to see Milwaukee go up two zip on the Celtics, but Boston doesn't want to leave Milwaukee down 0-2. I'm sure Memphis doesn't want to do it either because if the Warriors win, that's probably going to be a sweep, but I hope that Memphis evens things up at a game of peace. Yeah. That's why game one is always important, you know. And to win game one at home is even more important. Yeah, home court advantage, you know, because you never know how each team's going to do on their home floor. Um, And also a happy birthday to Clippers coach Tyron Liu. Yes, he was part of our Laker dynasty. Yes. I I remember when he won a champi championships with us. Yeah. Well, um also the Dodgers renew their rivalry with the Giants tonight as well with Julio Urias going up, going up against Carlos Rodon who's been pretty much unhittable so far this year. But let's hope the Dodgers can stop that tonight and try to s get their bats going, you know, especially with Mookie Betts and Freddie Freeman on top of your lineup and Trey Turner, which sets the table for our, for our sluggers, you know, like Max Muncy, Justin Turner, Cody, you know, even Will Smith. But yeah, and the Angels, after splitting two ga four games in the south side, they head to Boston to take on the other Sox, the Red Sox. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, let's hope that the Angels beat the Red Sox, too. And hopefully the Dodgers beat the crap out of the Giants. And, it re and yes, Jock Peterson's going to return tonight. I don't know what reaction he's going to get. But last year... Justin, I mean, Jock Peterson and Freddie Freeman were teammates on the Atlanta Braves when they won it all. So maybe Jock and, and Freddie will have a little bit of a, of a chat and try to show some love and respect. Yeah, but the fans won't, won't appreciate his announcement. But, um, yeah, so... Well, all right, and, and have a good Taco Tuesday. 
I'll talk to you all later. All right, let's go uh, Bucks. Let's fear the deer once again because Boston sucks. And let's hope that the Grizzlies win tonight too. And let's go Angels and let's go Dodgers. Amen.